everyone it is that time to do um, a video showing you all my completed pages from December. It does look quite a lot I don't think it's as many as usual partly because some of the pages were smaller not this one I'm showing you now which is actually upside down um, some of them were smaller I had Covid and I was wasn't colouring so much for a little while and Christmas obviously takes up time as well but I've got quite a lot of festive pages to show you so I've had quite a nice time doing some festive some not festive pages this I'm um, going to start with Johanna Basford this is the December page of my secret garden calendar you may have already seen my completed flip through of the calendar which I put up much earlier in the month and so this is just the page that I did this month December and now that calendar is all finished that was one of my goals for this year to complete this calendar which I've done I'm not actually going to be setting any colouring goals um, for 2024 um, I just I don't know why I just decided it wasn't something that I was going to do now we have small victories now this is a book that I'm, I'm very likely to finish in 2024 um, but I'm not going to set it as a goal um, I'm just going to not I, d I just I'm not up for doing that this time so this is the um, little truck that I did this page will become a series um, I'm looking forward to doing the others actually um, but I just did this one because it was festive and it was a short video that I did um, this month um, and I'm just having a look at what I used. Um, I used Ergosofts for that one. So there is our festive truck. Whether I'll do Ergosofts for the rest or not, maybe because they're quite detailed. But yeah, I'm looking forward to doing some more. Um, eventually, my members of my channel will get this as a compilation, all the trucks together. But obviously, I've only done one so far, so I can't. But I will paste them all together, glue them all together and give them a compilation eventually. That's the truck. Then I did this one, which um, you might want me to zoom out. <laughs> um, the um, I think, um, yeah, that was this month. Um, what did I call it? Where is this one? Um, House on Mushroom. There we are. Polychromos. There's a bit of gold glitter pen too. If I tip it, you can see the stars are gold, not glitter, just a metallic pen. So there's that one. Reminds me, I need to order a new gold pen. And uh, my husband was doing an order for cold pens and asked me what I wanted. I said a gold pen and then I haven't given him it. Now this page, these, I, I know some of you might have sort of maybe expected me to do this one as a series because they're, um, you know, it, it's quite a good one. But they were so small and intricate. I did some of them as my advent pages. Now what I did was... If you follow me on Instagram and look at my stories, you would have seen that every day I did a small victories picture as an advent page, um, which is something that Johanna suggested we do. And um, I some of these I did, not all of them. Um, some of them I did after and just completed the page. But they've all got a metallic circle around in a colour that matches the background. Um, and each row has got different colour flowers in it, different colour backgrounds, that sort of thing, which is quite fun. Now this one again was a video, I'll come in a little closer um, with my sort of festive cupcake. So I did the um, the case in red and green to be sort of festive and then the stars um, in metallics, there's some glitter on them as well, a bit hard to show. But there is, as I said, there's a video for that one. I'm just coming back out because the next one is a full page. This one was my day one and two of the advent. I used the koi um, and the and the house, which was um, I enjoyed that. Um, those little flowers, by the way, was done in um, um, polychromos, as was this. I used a lot of polychromos this month. Um, as when I had COVID, I just didn't feel like getting out of the chair very much. So they were on my desk. I just used them. I couldn't be bothered to think about what other pencils to use and things like that. So I just used polychromos a lot. The bubbles are done with a glitter pen. You can just about see them. That is that one. And I think I did this one as well. I've written down Island and I think that with Stedler design journey pencils I'm pretty sure this is it it's definitely done with Stedlers the background is a cloud stencil with um, some um, um, soft pastels so that's that one. and then this one was done with um, I 
think, yes, yeah, Stadler Design Journey, um, sort of nice pale pinks. I'm not, as you know, I'm not, you don't usually do pinks. I think I was just in a, oh, can't be bothered to choose pink mood. Now this one I had um, a lot more fun with. I was feeling well when I did this one. And uh, this I did with, I'm just trying to look for you, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Ergosoft. And uh, we've got some shine on the bottle and some light coming out of the lighthouse and things like that. Fun with that one. Um, our next one is this. And we have, um, this again was part of my sort of advent pages. And I use some colour cube cards on some of them. So I'm just going to try and match up the ones I did with colour cube cards. Uh, that's that one. Okay. Doesn't look that much like it, but it is. Um, this one, I think might be, is it that one? Yeah, I think that's that one. They look quite different, don't they? Um, this one is definitely that one. There. Wherever, when they had white, I just didn't use anything. This one is this one. Um, that one is... Oh, is it that one? Mm, no. no, it's that one. That one's that one. And then this one is this one. And these are all festive. I was almost at the Christmas section of my colour cube cards and I skipped forward and grabbed the Christmas ones out. Now, these are all done with a... There's some... Each of the stems is done in black and there's some clear glitter glue on top. Um... Some of these, as you can see, I used a colour cube card to choose. Others were more random. These are sort of more multicoloured or a sort of fixed colour scheme. I just messed around. And every feather has the detailing and the outside done in a metallic pen. A lot of them are gold or silver, but this one is actually in a sort of bluey green. That one's in a pink. So there's a few different colours. I was just messing around. I had a great time with those. And again, these were sort of my advent pages. Now this um, fruit sundae was a good fun. Um, this is done in polychromos and I just did these sort of fireworky type bits in the background um, with a pink metallic pen. It's a Posca and you know it was just uh, to put something in there and it was really simple so that was good. Now this is the um, winter wreath. I did this as a video, I think it was four parts with the mistletoe, the holly, the ivy and the poinsettias. So that was that one. And then this was also a set of videos, festive, festive florals, I called them. I tried to do festive colour combos, so we've got our typical gold, um, red, green. But I did a sort of purple and silver, a sort of blue and gold, and then a sort of orangey, goldy, bronzy thing going on. So there's some metallics, there's some glitter, all very Christmassy, I thought. That is my next um, Johanna Basford. And then we have the planner. Now, the planners are always done on video, and at the very end of the planner, I have recorded a flip through of the completed planner, which you may have seen already. It would have already gone out. So this is the first December page. I won't linger too long. Stedler Design Journey, um, Black Widows, polychromos and polychromos so as i said there is a flip through of the whole book and there are videos for every page in this whole book so you can follow those if you want to now we move on to rita berman so this is her winter book so this is the one i've been focusing on um i did this page here i'm pretty sure that christmas tree i must have done last month i'm just gonna check yeah so um, this this um, is the one I did this month. You can see it's quite shiny. It's done in um, metallic pencils, but there's a bit of glitter on that snow in the middle as well. And, a, and some glitter there and there. A few bits of glitter here and there. So that was that one. It's quite a simple one. Um, this one is my favourite page I've coloured this month. Um, I'll come in closer for you. Now Rita Berman coloured this page using this, almost this exact colour scheme and I copied hers because I thought it was beautiful. Um, the background, I started off copying hers to about there and then it became a bit tedious because there's so much colour in it. Let me tip it that way because my light is shining on it. 
Um, so I just sort of made it up um, based on these first few. And But all the items are coloured using her scheme. There's lots of snow and things like that. It was just, um, it took me quite a long time. So I took time over it because it was just really, um, really fun to do one and just copy, copy her style, um, which was nice. And then I did these two. I didn't do them as a double, but they happen to be a double so I can come out. So we have the gifts on this side. Oh, that last one was polychromos, by the way. The gifts, these are polychromos too. So the gifts are um, mainly just plain pencil, but the around the edge of each of the ribbons and the snowflakes is some glitter pen, just um, clear glitter. And then this one, again, polychromos, and there's glitter pen on the sleigh and a little bit of silver pencil on the sort of blade of the sleigh. And then there's um, some glitter around the um, beads and things. It's a little difficult to see. There's some glitter on the snowflake as well. Didn't do a background for that. I thought about it. I had it sitting around for a while while I thought, and in the end I decided not to. But there isn't a background on that side. Now I did these two as well. Again, not a double. So this one, I was, this is when I really didn't have a lot of energy. So I just coloured, I saw someone else had done, I, sorry, I don't know who, a similar way with these sorts of tones. So I did the thing, pink, purple, blue. And then I covered them all with um, glitter. Or just a clear glitter pen and oh, I'm gonna sneeze in and this side is a little simpler I there are bits of glitter on it from here but they're not supposed to be um, I did um, it's polychromos again with um, soft pastel background and some glittery snowflakes and I just wanted something simple now here I did this side last year Think. yes so I did this side um, this year with my Ergosofts which is what I used over there so just to sort of tie it all in and uh, completed that one so that's what I've done in there I'll probably do some more in winter during January now this book um, Rita sent me to do as an advent book and you may have seen me posting the pictures on my Instagram stories if not I have put um, I've done a flip through anyway, so I'm just going to go through them really quickly. Um, that one I actually did when I did a flip through of the book um, when I first got it. So um, actually, I'll leave it that way. So um, I'll just show you really quickly. Um, then this is done with polychromos. Um, yeah. The polychromos, right the wrong way. Um, polychromos. Um, polychromos. <laughs> I did a lot of polys. I think they all are, to be honest. That one, again, polys. Some of them I did when I was not well, and I picked really simple ones like this. It's got polychromos and some um, silver pen on it. That, no, that's Ergosoft. Um, or back to polys with the rhino. And then this one was done using a colour cube card trees make it like sort of crispy colours and then we have polys polys um polys polys uh, polys whoops oh. ergosoft something different <laughs> Polly's with some pastel in the background um, Ergosoft um, uh, Polly's all the rest of polychromos I like that one I like them all really I, I coloured them in this order I'm showing you this isn't the order they come in the book all of them have got a bit of gold pen on because Rita Berman does that when she does um, colours. I thought it was cute. That's the last one. Okay, so that's it. I'm only gone through them quickly because there is, whoops, I flipped through video over there that you can look at if you want to look at them in more detail. Ooh, let's put um, elephant back in. Right, turn my page. We have Flora. Um, 
that's come out of it. This is um, Maria Trolley. Um, she does have a few Christmassy pictures in her books, but I've only done the one. But I have been asked to do this one as a video. Now, lots of snow. Um, I'm remembering how to do snow after a year of not doing it. So I will be doing this um, as a series um, for you at some point during January. But I thought I could leave it till January because it's not really Christmassy. So I didn't, I wanted to just do Christmassy. So here is our um, angel. Um, gold wings and sort of, um, soft pastel background with white stars. Um, is she Polly's? Um, yes. So there is that one. Oops, I just need to make myself some space. There we go. Now we have um, a season's postcard, which is in a frame that I did. Um, you can't see the whole postcard because the the amount is in the way. This is under my Christmas tree at the moment. Well, obviously not right now. Um, but um, it hides the plug socket for the lights. It sits in front of it. Um, and that's polychromos. Just put that there. Put it back in a minute under the tree. And I did one from here. Now, it's quite a few Christmassy, wintry pictures in here. I may do some more. Um, a lot of them actually aren't that Christmassy. Like this one over here isn't. Christmasy. but this one is with the candy cane so I did that one and uh, that was done with polychromos and there's some soft pastel to make that sort of reddish goldish background now matchstick mouse Christmas I finished a copy of this but I had two copies so I started a new one this Christmas which is rather nice and uh, yeah, let's go through here. So this one was done with Prism Colour and I used this colour keep card. So I was quite limited in my colour. It looks very pale. The bird is grey, um, but you can see the greys are really quite pale. The, I used the um, black for the beak and eggs, but obviously he's grey as well. So I needed to have a bit of contrast. And I did silver stars in the background and used this sort of shortcake colour for the trees. It's very faint, faint, but yeah, it was a bit different, a bit of a challenge. Now this one here, actually I can come in closer can't I, there we go, this one here, um, let's have a look, um, it's polychromos and I've used some glitter pen in her hat as well and I drew some little red stars on her apron, sometimes I do a little patchwork but I thought it was fun, a bit different. Now here we have one with lots of prezzies. Um, this one, I was, I was quite ill when I did this one. Um, this one, um, Ergosoft I used for that because I just couldn't, I didn't want lots of colour choice. Now Candy Cane, um, I went over these, um, this is black in the picture and I went over it in, in red Posca so that it looks red and white which is what I wanted my candy cane to look like. In the background there are these white dots which I coloured gold rather than white and I used some Posca to make to make red and yellow dots in the tree as well. So I uh, played around with that a little bit, did a bit of reflection of the light on top of the hat, not much, just playing around. This one is done with polycolour uh, pencils. Um, I did her a little gold hat band which is a bit of fun. Um, some white in the tinsel. It's not so good. I got better at tinsel as I did a few more and the bobble was supposed to be gold but it didn't really work. Yeah. This tinsel was better. Um, this page is done with polychromos but there's gold pen in places on some of the wrapping paper and in the tinsel just to make it look more shiny and there's white in her fur on her hat and this one again we've got some white in the fur the hat's done in the same way and uh, worm's hat is the same we've got some white in the tinsel on this one to try and make it look more tinsely I don't know what else word to use but that one is all done with Arteza Premium Use some different pencils for that one I will try and use some different pencils in January. Um, this one, um, I put some different colour lines into the tinsel to try and make it look a bit better. It doesn't look as good as the last one. 
and this one is polychromos. I enjoyed doing that fire, particularly I like colouring fire. And this one I did yesterday. Um, I wanted something simple, I was getting quite tired. Um, polychromos, um, the stars, um, I just did in a mix of colours and outlined them in white so they stood out quite well. The clouds have got a little bit of blue on. Um, I didn't really know what else to do with them but I did some gold because her broom has got holly in so it's a bit different to normal. I thought I'd do some gold leaves, I thought it would be fun. So there is that one. There's still quite a few to do in there but that's okay. Might do a few more um, in January or um, leave some for next, next Christmas. Seems a bit early to be talking about next Christmas, but anyway, magical season I finished and I have done a completed book flip through, but I'll just show you the ones that I did this month. So there was the snowman, which um, was done with polychromos, and there's a, a metallic pen on the border. It's a sort of Posca pen. Then this one um, was done with black widow pencils, and again there's some gold pen like on her pocket. Um, I think that's it actually. Oh, and then on the candles. It just looks like there's nothing there from the way the light is. Then we have this one here, which um, is polychromos again. I did a lot of these when I wasn't feeling too well because you, because the shading is done for you, you don't need to do too much. And our angel, she's got a sort of sparkly belt and there's some um, silver pen around the edge. Um, she is done with Arteza Expert. Our fox is done with Polychromos. This one is also done with Polychromos. That one isn't done very well, I don't think. Anyway, the bird wreath um, is done with Polychromos. Again, I could have put a lot more work into these, but I wasn't, as I said, I wasn't feeling good. This one I put a lot of work into. This is Polychromos. Really enjoyed this one. Sky, lots of colour, lots of um, different reds and things like that. It's quite magical. Some um, silver and gold stars and moon in the sky, silver around the edge. I haven't got this one on my list, but I'm pretty sure I did it this year. I'm sure I didn't do it in November. Maybe I did. Anyway that one as well and then this one is the um, mouse um, the mouse was also done with polychromos there we go so there's that book um, next we have pictures by Agatha Pop she sent me lots and lots of pictures for free um, this one I did for the advent um, which I would I did a video every day for these showing you how I colored them I have to say I think this one and this one were my favorites um, at the end, particularly this one with the galaxy sky and the snow globe. Really enjoyed that one. But, you know, I had, I, I liked doing all of them really. So there was that one. And then I also did my own personal advent pages, which I didn't share. Um, I just did them for myself because I wanted something to do that was just for me. I did forget a few days and have to do them after. So this is, um, I think this was from about three years ago that Agatha did, and um, I bought this one actually, and then when I bought it, she said she sent me all her other Christmas pages for free, which was so kind of her, but she knows that I um, show them to you. Um, and I used a colour cube card for one, which was that one, and that was a really interesting challenge to make that try and look a bit bronzy, and they used the pink for the ribbon, and this, the um, silver for the top part so that was interesting but I didn't use colour cube cards that one I think I did as well but I haven't got it one out but that doesn't look like colours I would naturally use so I wouldn't normally do a green sole on the boots I wonder if I use one for that as well but anyway there are them um, some of them have got bits of glitter bits of metallic things like that on but I just just had it gave me something to do each day that I took my time over did it my own way that sort of thing and I think I particularly like these near the end when I was feeling well again I particularly like um, those um, but there we go there are those and I also did this page because um, um, 
which these sort of Christmas shelves. These, those other ones there were mainly done with um, polychromos. There might have been a few Ergosoft. These were done with Ergosoft, these shelves. And I just enjoyed that a lot. Put snow on them and things like that. And then I also did this page. Now I've put some of these on my um, on my Facebook and Instagram pages for you to see. So we've got our post box and our front door bells. I think they went they've gone up the ball ball, which I had great fun making it look all shiny. And then this one I did in a video when I showed you these pages, and then the sort of um, nutcracker as well. So that's that one. Uh, then I did this a couple from here. Should we come in a bit closer? So the Calm Colouring Book and I wanted to do some Christmassy ones. This is a beautiful, I wouldn't associate these colours with Christmas but it was such a beautiful card and I just just did it all quite plain colouring and just with these, I mean as near as I could get and I used um, Arte's, no, I'm lying, Polychromos for that one. I think, oh, the one before, I've done them out of order. This one I used Arteza. I'm not convinced that's the correct card for that. But maybe it was, maybe it was the nearest I could get. Because those are all greys. Oh, there's a lilac and a teal. I'm not sure. But I really enjoyed doing that and I did them all the same colour and then I added some depth and shadows with darker greys and things. Yeah I think I've used a teal and then used greys. It was it was really different and it took a while and I just sat there and calm. Yeah. It's lovely. Okay. Light hearted mandalas. It's come out a tad. There we go. Um oops Oh yes, this one was this very pretty and um, wintry pic um, one. I didn't use much black, just a little bit. So that was that, and there's a bit of glitter in the middle there as well. Then this one, I just felt that this looked very Christmas holly-like, and that's how I coloured it. Um, I think I may have used a colour cube card for that that I haven't put in, because I don't think I naturally have done those sorts of browns in the background. I don't know but uh, there's that one and this one I just did with my metallic pens and sort of Christmassy colours red and green golds so it's just a bit of fun I do love a shiny picture they don't look particularly artistic but they are pretty aren't they now this one is supposed to be a pattern a picture a week but I've done quite a few of these already this was more of an autumnal one that I did quite near the beginning of the month um, and these I used my watercolour pens some of them are running out now and I'm not particularly keen on them but they match the colours really well so that's I use them for that and oh yeah more mandalas because mandalas are great for the colour cube cards um, this one again it's more of a wintry rather than a Christmassy scheme and then, whoops, this one of sort of reds and greys. I think that's it. And they were both, I didn't, I've been forgetting to tell you what pencils I'm using. Um, this was, this one was, um, hang on, and Dallas. Nice. That one was done with Polly's. But this one says Bambinos and it gives a completely different colour cube card to the one that I found. But I don't know. Now this one, Stunning Patterns, it's done with Stedler Design Journey pencils. And I rather like this one because it looks like these look like ball balls to me. And it looks a bit like a star so I felt it looked quite Christmassy. But I really like those warm and cold colours together. So I enjoyed that one. And then I did one from this book, Nice Little Town Colouring. I meant to do a video for you, but because I was unwell, I just, I find this book quite daunting, to be honest. There's so many little details. Each page takes me a really long time. So 
I, did, I warmed up with this picture and then just didn't feel like doing another one. So it will have to wait till next year. But um, I did this gingerbread house, which was fun. And it just reminded me of how many details and how actually quite complicated the pages are. And this is quite a simple one. Um, and I used Derwent pencils for that, which don't particularly work well on that paper. There we go. Now, Colour Guest sent me a new book and I coloured some of this, I think it was this shelf, I'm going to tip it up because my light's shining off it, this shelf and some of these items um, when I um, I did the flip through for you and uh, I completed the page um, in quite crisp, festive colours um, and I used Artex pencils which actually were really rubbish <laughs> on this paper. This paper is really um, smooth so it doesn't work with really soft pencils very well so Prisma's Artex that's the thing are not going to work well on it you need something that's a little bit um, harder I think I'm going to um, I think um, a Stedler or a Polychromo or something like that will be much better now there are lots of Christmas pictures in this book and I sort of forgot it's a season's book so we have so this is the first sort of um, it's Christmassy wintry picture so I did this one um, which with polychromos and I used a colour cube card which I haven't brought through with me I think I couldn't find it I don't know 180 I forgot anyway it was obviously a Christmassy red um, brown brown and green and red and I did that I didn't do a background or anything I kept it quite simple so there's that one. This one is, whoops, I got some Millie Marotta postcards for Christmas and this is the one I did on video when I did a flip through. There's that one, whoops. And very last, I did this this morning because I remembered that I, my, for last year, my aim was to do a flower year picture every month. So I hadn't done December's yet. So I just very quickly did this large. It's really simple, it's just one polychromo, it's it's just straightforward. But I do find Layla Dooley's pictures quite daunting, they're very detailed. Sometimes I can't quite pick out all the leaves and bits and pieces. When I did that this morning, I could say I've missed loads and gone out of the lines because it's really fine work. But I'm not going to commit to doing one a month um, this year, I'm just going to see how it goes. I might still, but I might not. Right, that's me for um, December and for the year. So yes, I've um, I've done a lot, I think, this year. But as I say, I'm not going to set a goal for next year as to... I want to complete some books. I know I'll complete small victories. I quite like the idea of trying to complete a book a month, but I don't think that that's a realistic goal. So I'm just not going to set one. I'm just going to poodle along and do my own thing. But thank you for joining me. Um, it is New Year's Eve, so I want to say thank you um, for all your support this year. And uh, Happy New Year. And I hope you have a really good year next year as well. So thank you so much and happy colouring.